Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel, man. <laughs> Great to be back with another map, map making video, guys. Uh, yeah, so if this is your first time on my channel, a uh, warm welcome to you. Hit the subscribe and the like as we uh, speak. <laughs> before we forget, guys. Yeah, before we forget, because yeah, no, life, is, life is going by fast, you know, so don't forget. Anyways, guys, today's video, all about bunker silos. How to add a bunker silo to your map as well as if you've got your own custom structure or um, concrete little silo how to um, use the the bunker silo and uh, make your bunker silo or your piece of um, concrete building work as a bunker silo all right so we're going to do a dual uh, a dual video um, a custom one as well as the, the standard um, way of adding a bunker silo so let's uh, let's for instance uh, um, look at this area here we are on the Ravenport map, by the way. Um, done some changes on that coming up on version 3. Like I've added that field, I've added the cell point there, the back, uh, farmer's market. Um, done a few other changes on the map and huge change to the train system. Upgraded to loco. Uh, even the sound, it's now a real loco um, working there. Uh, not, a, not a steam loco, but a diesel one. But the sound, um, I've upgraded the sound, downloaded the proper sounds for it and made it to sound like a proper loco, you know, that funny thing that they've got in <laughs> Giants Editor. I don't know where they got the loco sounds uh, um, that's currently in the game, you know, that's horrible. But anyway, it's sorted. So yeah, enough chatter. Let's get, get stuck into it. All right. So first things we want to do is import just the concrete structure. So w whether you've got your own custom one or whether you use the in-game one, it's just a, a, a building or a structure that you put in. There's no significance to it but before we do that i just want to quickly um, level the area here where i'm going to place it so obviously we're going to go into the terrain tool the sculpting tool and we are going to obviously make this thing uh nice and big so we can work here and then we want to use the right mouse to go and replace i'm going to set this area around here as the center so i'm going to go control r there to get the replacement height of that area and then um, obviously boost this to the max so that it can replace fast and then all I'm going to do is make the circle a bit bigger and then just manipulate the ground here where I want to put the, the silo yeah this will definitely definitely be the right spot for a, a silo down here it's like all the unused areas on the map you know so there you go that's enough for there and then we can just close that up there it's fairly level here so it wasn't really much leveling to do but it's nice to have a level place to put your thing down you know <laughs> all right so we're going to import the in-game one it's under uh, fs22 data placeables lizard and then you've got your three bunker silos there small medium large i'm going to just use the small one because um, i don't want to obviously overpower the the area because even the small one is going to look big here <laughs> so and then first of all um this silo it is not a working silo um let me just see if i'm talking trash uh visuals collisions there's a levering bunker uh, yeah there's no there's no triggers on this so it's not a working silo it's just a structure so what we're going to do with that is i'm going to cut it and I'm going to just drop it in my map folder where I want, um, where I've got the things. Let me just see if I've got one for the main farm. Ravenport, uh, shop signs, gameplay, vehicle shop. Somewhere I've got the main farm one. Um, I'll just drop it in the Ravenport. Maybe it's on the areas. Oh, I'm not going to struggle with that now. It's going to take too much time. I can't remember where I put it. So I'm just going to drop it in Ravenport. It will be fine. It's in any way just a structure. It's got no significance to it. And then Control B um, to just drop it down here. And now we're going to just obviously position it nicely to, to sort of fit in the environment here as best as we can. I want to have a little bit of space here to move past here for the... Um, for the tractors and then obviously something like that i can move that tree a little bit out of the way but yeah i think that looks fairly okay up there and then just uh, fix up the terrain a bit obviously we want to get here and it's not dirt control r on that 
it is rufted and then you have to select it again to make it work and then just paint the areas here where the tractors come out and then make a U-turn to go back just make it like that and then obviously uh, put the replace back to subtract and then go to our foliage paint mode and then remove all the grasses and stuff here in the bunker with the right button I like to use my right button guys uh, for for these kind of funny things um, leave the le left back button for select <laughs> all that stuff you know and then you go and then just get those out of the way and then lastly I just want to move this tree a bit it's too close to it control B I'm just gonna drop it somewhere maybe there it can still put some uh, um, shade on the thing which is actually not good for a silo you want it in the Sun you know truly so let's move it away like put it there that's better yeah much better all right so we've got an open silo and the Sun is shining on it to ferment and doing all its little stuff that it needs to do collapse all all right so now guys um, this is just a thing we've put down there's no work to it so you can build your own one with concrete and um, like this is uh, um, ground and put a uh, collision on it and all that kind of stuff you know because you need collision on it otherwise it's going to fall through the concrete and 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 you know make it look nice and what what level area and clear areas that's just for when you place a thing as a mod it will clear and level the area where you where you've clicked on the in-game map you know but in the editor level and clear areas doesn't really have any significance to the game you know or to the map you have to level by yourself and clear by yourself as we've just done okay so here we go um, bunker silo small all right so the next thing to do is we want to now add functionality to this so in order to do that we need to tell the game that this is actually a fermenting silo or a, not a silo a bunker silo where you going to make silage all right and that is already set up in the game for you under uh, let me go in here FS22 we've now been in data placeables lizard and then bunker silo small there it is all right so this XML here is the one we want to work with because this gives functionality to the thing that you've been working with and this R3D here now is the same as uh, um, is is this this XML actually complements the I3D? So it tells the I3D or, or tells the game that that uh, where where we've put this, you see it pulls this I3D in. Um, so so if you do your own one, you will now add as a base your own I3D there. You see to pull it in, um, just to give you an idea how that operates. All right. So now. Um, gas station that was yesterday's video and this is obviously your store data telling the thing what it is it's a bunker silo this is only for in-game use it's a placeable it's a building and it's a silo that's where you'll find it um, in your in your game all right so now if you want to um, I'm just thinking now how to do this if we're gonna do this custom um, yeah let's copy the XML into our map and then we can work custom from there so I'm going to close this up here copy that XML control C run back to our map and in my map normally Ravenport I've got in my map I've got a XML directory where I just chuck all my XMLs in for the game stuff that I've added you know um, so now we can open it from here and just work on it here if I've now if you have your own R3D of the concrete structure, you can add it in here. But then you're going to have to go into your, s uh, um, just to give you an idea now, if you if you work with your own R3D, I just want to open this up, you'll see that the bunker silo R3D, this is an R3D that we've imported. You're going to work here and see that the index paths and things are the same as your XML. So there will be stuff like, uh, like this is the the structure and then the clear areas level areas all of that might be in your in your XML so you must just look here in the XML there's the clear areas if there's any nodes here um, you need to make sure that they are correspondent with the nodes here 
and if if not you must move this up and down until it complements this nodes here you know it's uh, in in the xml i just want to see if there is anything that uh, is significant to this the r3d mappings you see here's a lot of nodes uh, silo area start silo area width clear area level area so those you're going to have to make sure that they all correspond to your r3d if you've got your own custom bunker all right so um i just want to see for instance let's let's look at the level area there it's got the level area width and the level area height so you see it take for instance the level area height is index path 9 then it's 39201 all right so in here level area height there it is 0201 so if if those nodes are not the same here then in your r3d uh, of your custom one i'm not i'm not talking if you just use the in-game one if you've got a custom one then you can customize this xml to fit your custom um um um, concrete structure or whatever you want to use uh, as as your own building or whatever thing I'm about, you know but um, if they're different you're going to have a problem and it's going to tell you it can't find this child of this parent or the only one child is given for the parent all that nonsense it's the errors you're going to have to sort out if uh, you use a custom thing um, but you need to just modify this XML to fit your R3D. That's basically what it comes down with. Talk a, talked enough about that now. All right. So now what we're going to do is we have this now in, in the game. So all we're going to do now is grab the main R3D. It's the bunker silo one, the, the main transform group, because we want these details for the, um, for the map. Uh, but we need a line to put into our placeables so we want to place this in the game via our placeables file which will be in your map directory so that's my my map placeables and we also need to open the store items because those go hand in hand placeables and store you always have to add them both you cannot have something in the placeable if it's not in the store items because otherwise you're going to get errors about store data <laughs> the store data is not found or this xml can't be opened all that uh, nonsense you will find all right so now um, let us have a quick browse at the line for the bunker silo um, we can go to any map uh, placeable so let us go to uh, farming simulator 22 data and then we go to uh, maps is the folder and let us use the maps us uh, no that doesn't have a bunker silo uh, well you can we can grab one from the um, from the French, the French map, and then also from the um, placeables. I think, I think from the biogas um, thing, there will be a bunker silo. There it is, bunker silo, small man. <laughs> nice. So we can just grab that line because we need that one. Um, the way around that, guys, is if if you don't find the line, but this, the three maps will give you everything in the game as placeables. But if for some reason you can't find a line to add to your play to your placeable all you do is open the game open any map in the game buy that uh, placeable place it in that map do a save and open the save game in your save game then you will find um, if you go into farming simulator 22 that one uh, it's under documents my games farming and then open the save game once you've opened the save game you'll find that there's also a placeables.xml there and then you go to the right at the bottom will be the one that you've just la lastly bought and then get the line there and put that line in all right so that's basically your your golden ticket how to get the line for um a placeable if you don't have it you can even do that with a mod guys if it's a mod that you've downloaded you can um, um, get the line for it that way all right so let's just select that copy that and then we go to our placeable which is that one um, and then I just want to see where am I going to put it players form placing all right because it's at the players form I'm gonna drop it down here and then um, if it was obviously now a custom one that's in your map directory you will change this directory to point to the XML that you have now for your custom one and then also um, 
before that one you'll put a dollar map to dollar slash and then the maps and whatever the directory is because that dollar map to dollar points the game towards your map directory and then from the map directory mine is Ravenport that's the map directory so mine will be maps map if or whatever else directory I have to point if it was a custom silo all right I hope it makes sense guys but in this case we're using the in-game bunker silo and uh, yeah there we go so we're gonna just put, uh, put that in there and then um, obviously now we want to just click on the map obviously click there and then grab that first um, three figures for the X Y and Z the positioning you, you select the first one just click there control shift and C and it will copy all three for you into the um, uh, clipboard and then back into our placeables XML and at the position you just drop it down there control and V and you'll see when you paste something out of the editor that way um, it always makes this huge 200,000 numbers long I don't know why because I mean if you look at the 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 uh, um, the actual coordinates here they're only six figures each so just re if, if you want to you can uh, do it I normally don't bother too much with it but you can now go and make them shorter 052 there and 977 and then this one uh, 508 just just uh, uh, make them shorter to to suit your um, your liking you know <laughs> the same with the rotation control shift C bring it over drop the rotation so I just highlight the whole lot and press control and V to paste it and there you have it and you want the default form property in here because it is part of the form first of all all the stuff that's not part of the form will not have the default form property and then obviously the form that we use it on is form ID 1 if you were to have more than one form you'll use form ID 2 form ID 3 e etc and then the default form property for form 2 will be default form property false um, if you have it an extra two forms or whatever always put the default form property as false all right so that's basically you have to put that in there otherwise the form doesn't work <laughs> that's the trick of getting it to work all right and then um, that's our line placed in there and now we also need to add the same line to our um, store items so I just want to close this placeable we finish with that so what I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my store items select the last line there copy it and then just control and V paste it so I have two of them so I can manipulate this last one then come back to my placeables and then grab um, this whole line here XML control and C back to the store items control and V overwrite the whole thing and then because you now uh, are working in the store items and the store items never knows whether you're working out of the the game or out of your map so you have to well it, it knows when you're working out of your map because out of your map you don't have to put the dollar uh, the dollar uh, map der dollar here but uh, at the placeables you have to put the dollar because here it doesn't know when you work out the map again but you it knows when you work out of the game <laughs> it's, it's confusing guys but anyway it's just how it is so this side you need to put the dollar in front of your um, thing to tell it it needs to go to the game directory so how these Germans heads works I just have no clue how they've uh, figured that one out but anyways it's just how it is so remember that in the in the store items always the dollar for the um, for the in-game stuff and in the placeables no dollar for the in-game stuff but yet for the map here if you work out of your map you need to put the map there dollar and this side out of the map you don't have to put the map there dollar or you mustn't because if you put the map to the dollar this side it will, will not find that item i three uh, that xml and it will give you an error as well in game so just be cautious of that guys all right so now that we've got that um the silo is running in there bunker silo xml um, and it's telling it to put this i3d uh, bunker silo i3d which now just reminds me guys uh, i've actually made a mistake in the map i have to take this silo because I'm gonna have two of them then now so this silo it's actually not supposed to be in the map so I'm gonna cut it here 
You can delete it now, obviously, because you don't need it in the map. But I like to have my stuff um, so that I can see it in the game, so I can work around it, you know. I hate it when you can't see it. Um, go to my placeholders folder. And then just um, in the placeholders folder, have I got one for the main farm? Farm building? No, nope. it's not it. No, it just drop it in there. It's fine. Just control V, drop it in the placeholder, and it will pop the back in here um, and look all nice and shiny. Great. Okay, guys, so now all that's left now is for us to test it in game and make sure it's working. And if there's any problems, we can. Uh, talk about that you know so now obviously because I've modified the terrain very important do not forget this guys two things you have to do first save your map first because if you sometimes run a script on your map you will lose all the work you've done because it crashes uh, it happened like 10 times with me so I've learned now to first save then run the script uh, map you go to scripts map and then ground create ground collision map so just be careful with that uh, First save your work, then run the scripts. Doesn't matter what script you want to run. First save your map, then run the script. So big tip there for you guys. And then just keep an eye here at the bottom when it says uh, on top, it says not responding. So just don't be in a hurry. Don't do anything. Just wait for it. It takes about 20, 30 seconds to do that whole um, process. So yeah, um, it's going to be fine in a minute or a few seconds, hopefully. <laughs> It will come right just now. Good stuff. My gosh, it's really taking time today. There you go. I think it's done now okay so now that it's done you have to let me just show you once you've done the ground collision map you open your console right at the bottom of your console is your latest uh, information I should make this a tiny bit bigger so we can see the bottom there it is uh, it says ground collision map update finished now run save to finally save all your info layer channels so your info layer channels is all the it's your it's your uh, um, your farmland and your tip collision and 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 all of that so you want to save that too so do do another save when you've done that just to update all of those channels all right so once that is done it shouldn't we can now go into the game and test it all right so what i'll do i'm gonna um just uh, leave this lock is open and then i'll meet you in the game right guys we are in the map and um loaded it up so let us have a quick browse so i haven't uh, seen any errors um showing problems in the map so let us just run down there i don't see it there but i think it might just be the distance thing you know so i think uh, um let us quickly just drop down there so water tank visit the water tank and it is not here all right why not why is it not here um interesting the area that i've cleared is there it should have been there but it's not all right let me go and have a look why and it, there wasn't any errors so it's funny or maybe i didn't save my xml's that happened to me before Yes, as expected, guys, you can see none of my two XMLs are saved. So, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> that's why you don't see it in the game. So, yeah, there we go. Save them both. And um, I'll quickly go back into the game and I'll meet you. All right, guys, here you can see automatically when you see the... Um, the bunker there it means that the xml has pulled the r3d which means it's loaded the r3d um that's already a good sign i don't know what on earth is going past uh, my house here it's actually a, a road grader <laughs> my word <laughs> it sounds like a huge thing going past here all right so um let's just grab a tractor and fill it with some um fill it with some grass and then let's go there and um, test and see if it works Nice. Right, let's just get uh, um, some grass in it. 
uh, I think it is straw a grass there you go just add it full of grass and in the moment you see uh, if you press F1 it brings up your menu of course and then yeah if you see compacting it means you've already entered the trigger and everything should be fine uh, what I normally do is I bring the speed down to uh, about seven or eight eight uh, k's per hour just gonna make that about eight that should be fine and then I go control I obviously and as soon as it start tipping I can just move forward there you go hey. actually it took a while to get going there but anyway that gives you a nice a nice uh, um, flat surface full of uh, and then obviously if you look now if I reverse back it should say compact which it is which I'm happy and then that means that the whole um, silo is working as it should and all should be well right then lastly if you do a custom uh, bunker in other words you've got it in your map folder and um, you want to point your placeables um, towards that obviously not towards the in-game one and you need, need to change this um, XML then to your custom one which obviously it will look like this uh, if I go to my directory where it is it's under my XMLs so I will just grab this piece here from uh, Ravenport so it's maps FR XML copy that control C and then come in here replace all of this there with that so it will be maps um, and now we need to put the map to the dollar there because otherwise giants will not recognize it so we put it there telling it work out of our map directory just change all these slashes to to lean forward for forward slashes so it's maps map fr xml and then bunker silo small so in the bunker in my xml there should be a bunker silo small which is that one but if you do a custom one obviously you can have this XML in your folder somewhere in your map together with the i3D and all the other textures and stuff for the custom one so it doesn't matter where the XML lies but um, I like to have all my XMLs together so it's all dependent on you but just make sure that your um, placeable do point to that XML where you've put it and then obviously the store items the same thing we just want to grab the XML for the store items and um, for the in-game one if you use the in-game one that the dollar data will point to that and then exactly to the XML there but because this scenario we use the the custom scenario we're gonna just do this so it's maps maps if uh, maps if far and then obviously delete that so it must look like that there we go and now it's telling the store data um, where the store data is for this it's in this xml and it's under the maps folder in the xml directory all right so if you if you do all of that all together save it all and uh, very important to save and then yeah it should all be fine guys what i want to um, suggest to you is if you want to do a custom um, bunker have a look at what is available in game and just customize the already existing i3ds because the i3ds in game already have the XMLs sorted out for you in order and everything is fine so here I have uh, just all the three different options of um, the in-game bunkers that you can already use so there's this one for instance with the U shape and then there's another U shape um, like this one and then also obviously the normal lizard ones that looks like this you know open bunkers on the side these ones are my preferred ones because you can drive uh, in a loop and uh, have uh, vehicles just easily dump and then obviously when you compact it it's much easier to compact than that thing with the closed end um, on the on the back you know like these ones they're more difficult to compact although it doesn't really matter it's uh, your choice what I would suggest though is if you want to do a custom one take one of these for instance this one is um, under uh, farming simulator 22 data placeables planet ET PGA bunker silo use that one so grab this directory it's planet et bga bunker silo let's go there quick so it's placeables uh, planet et uh, bga bunker silo and there it is everything for you already done store day store item uh, store uh, icon is there the bga silo xml is there as well as the i3d so you can copy or, or copy all of this into your map 
and then modify this to your heart's content and just make sure that your XML compares uh, in nodes to the BGA or the I3 that, I3D that you've modified. So to, to, to just show you once again, if you go into your nodes, you'll see the nodes are there, zero 05. Uh, for instance, for the clear areas, uh, wall left um, is index path is zero one, and ID is twenty one zero one will be twenty one zero one will be the wall left, and that kind of thing. Just verify that they are the same, and you won't have problems, and everything will work perfectly fine. Um, the reason why I say that is these are already built, and the XMLs for them is already there for you so you don't have to go and try and figure out your own XML which can cause you tremendous headaches and long tears crocodile tears so yeah at the end of the day just choose one here modify it change the wall type uh, if you if you if you don't like the concrete um, just go into the um, go into window uh, uh, material editing and then in here you can choose different materials for it bricks uh, or you can put in your own textures there whatever you want make it look like an old brick farm wall uh, whatever you want you can customize this thing like crazy make it bigger make it smaller you know uh, stretch it uh, like if you want it a longer a longer thing bigger you know just go go uh, go like crazy and just make sure that you modify all the parts towards it as well because if you make it bigger for instance there is um, these areas in it the collision update areas you have to go in there and just make sure that you stretch these as well to the right places you know accordingly all right and then save it and then import that into your map uh, via the xml's provided and all should be fine guys good before you guys go um that is how you add the bunker silo to your map and if you do a custom one remember your xml now you can modify that xml to um to work with your um custom i3d um concrete system you know just make sure that the the nodes at the bottom work work the same you know or are the same S sometimes those um i3d mappings you can leave some of them out like i said um the um the placement and all that is not really necessary but uh, if you don't use those delete it out and see if if uh, if it will work um, but before you go i want to quickly just uh, show you uh, where is the train now it's going there i can quickly jump here visit and then listen to this guys uh, this is the new train sound coming to ravenport on version 3 <laughs> very nice <laughs> believe me i spent hours figuring out that sound and get downloading the right sound from the internet it was very difficult to get the train sound that sounds good you know but anyway it's all done um and then also i've done this uh farmer's market here at the bottom sorry that side a new cell point that i've added looking all good and nice on this side let's just run up here there you go, fresh produce. Yeah, I think it looks nice. And then you can obviously bring all your goodies this side as well. So there's now a lot of cell points on the map. It's like, um, what's that, six of them. Um, more than enough, I think. Great, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And also do share my videos. I do appreciate, guys. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.